a very important meeting. Brian Brushwood. Oh shit, is it that time? This sounds like we're about to have a very important meeting. Sure. And as all important meetings, it begins with... <laughs> the dance craze that's sweeping the nation. <laughs> uh, hey man, what's, what's there for us to talk about? I guess this is our first since we got the property. That's a big deal. Yeah. I don't know what people want out of these. Usually we just talk about Wendy's. Um, yeah. But Are we talking about Wendy's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is our Wendy's podcast. Uh, we, well, we've already done so many things talking about what we plan to do at the property. I guess the biggest news is that talking to the builder, I think we're going to make two bathrooms here. Mm. Uh, we'll have one that's more public facing and then the other that's more for people staying in the, in the, uh, the suites. Is that what we want to call them? Sure. That's maybe generous right now. Yeah, but. Well, yeah for, certainly for right now. It looks uh, like we already got a bathroom in here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a very good simulacrum. This is uh, the thinking place. So uh, the thinking is we can have, uh, I don't know if we're, do you think people want a bathtub uh, when they go to a place to stay? When you go to a hotel, no. do you ever take a bath or do you only take uh, showers? Only showers. Yeah. But I'm also inclined to showers just personally. Yeah. Whereas I like, I like bathtubs. Uh, that comes from back in the days when I would have the spiked hair. The only way to get, like I would, I, there was so much wax in the hair and it would be three or four days of being on the road and just sort of tuning it up. But since I would break 30 pound bricks over my head, it would accrue a bunch of rubble. And so the only way to get it clean was to draw a bath, just, just take the entire thing of shampoo and just soak and then duck my head under water and scrub. And then when you got out, it, I swear, it looked like a rock quarry. It looked like a, 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 somebody was panning for gold and only found cinder in there. And so that became part of my on the road, like uh, happy place was taking a bath. Hmm. But I'm sure it's gross. I'm sure gross people. Do you think any gross people use hotels? No. I didn't think so. But the, uh, so I found out I was, this is a weird thing to talk about. Uh, I was really worried that there was no fixing how steeply uneven this room was. This is like a good four or five inches lower over here. And part of me wanted to actually make this like one of those wacky uh, upside down gravity defying rooms. But then I found out that it'll be like not much money at all. Apparently they just fill stuff in and then they just like a, a ratchet, they just vice it up, hmm. get it even, fill it with concrete, not a baby. Oh. So that's, that's the thing. So what do you, I guess, I guess we got to start thinking about computers and shit. Yeah. I wonder if, if anybody has an in for, uh, I, I should reach out to Doghouse Systems because I know that they've done, uh, number one, because we have their computers for a bunch of other stuff, but also it might be worth it for them to do like a bulk purchase thing and be the official sponsor of MRHQ. Hmm. How many computers do you think we need? Um, we need, what, two for streaming? Well, um, yeah. For the podcast Three. stuff. Three? Three for the, uh, because there's, there's media and chat room, there's the switching, and then there's the streaming. Um, but let's say theoretically we just move all those from the studio. I mean, I'm, I imagine you could probably do media and chat room on the same as one of the other computers if you had, like, a good enough computer that you could have, like, another monitor output. Right. Well, we uh, that was originally what we had to do, and that was, that was we ran into the upper limit of how much content and how good a resolution we could do. Uh, but, like, we already have those computers, although they could probably all be upgraded and updated. Hmm. And then... Yeah. Uh, Bye, Bryce. How, how good a computer do you need for editing? Bye, Bryce. Bye. Like, how much does speed matter? Uh, a lot of it. Uh, most of the components get get bottlenecked at different points in the edit. So it's like RAM, you can use. 
I can use literally the maximum amount of RAM you could physically put in a computer. Okay. There's, there's no... You'll figure out a way to use all of it. Yeah, there's no limit to the amount of RAM that could be used. Um, with the CPU also gets, uh, gets, gets hit pretty hard during some rendering stuff. Um, and, uh, and the, all of those little, like 20 seconds waiting to renders, those all add up, right? Sure. Sure. Um, and then, you know, the, the video card gets hit pretty hard as well. Do you use um, the GPU assisted rendering? Uh, I think so. I, uh, I remember back when I CUDA still touched any of that stuff, uh, uh, with Sony Vegas, uh, I remember just it never played nice with any of the GPUs, and it always would would corrupt the render. So I ended up having to do CPU only for everything. Hmm. But uh, I don't know. Technology has advanced, and left me behind as an old w wizened man. Right. Um, yeah, there, there's it's 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 one of those things where, especially if we end up getting like camera upgrades. Uh, for cameras that do 4K, doing multicam with multiple 4K streams is going to be like super taxing. Yeah. Um, and so it's kind of like the most you can throw at it, the so, better so off it'll be. It sounds to me like rather than having like you know three edit bays, we'd be better off taking that same budget and just getting one mega mega edit bay, mega bay. M maybe. Uh, it just depends on on the kind of use cases you imagine for it and how often you're going to have people doing edits simultaneously. Yeah, um, I guess right now we don't see a lot of that, do we? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean... I mean, I, I guess let me put it this way. Uh, I would imagine that a lot of the time Bryce is working, you are asleep and vice versa. Possibly, although I would like to think that if there are like places to get work done here i would adopt a slightly more traditional schedule um just to like get my life in check well we uh, uh so in, actually i'm really excited because that was one of the things we talked about is there's right now for us to do any little thing requires coordinating you know five different schedules and all planning to meet at the same place and pull equipment over whereas so many of those organic little things can happen whoops I locked it. Uh, can happen much faster uh, if we're all working in the same space. Do you, yeah. This room, it seems like the easiest thing to do is we could just put a wall unit uh, for AC in here, and then all of this could be, even in the middle of summer, super, super chilly in here. And if we had maybe two mega bays set up, uh, then, then you know, we could be editing multiple things at the same time. Yeah, I could see something like that being viable. I mean, you know, Jeff probably is going to do work from home since he's just on Remix. Yeah. Um, and if we, if we got three people. Plus, also, you know, it opens us up to uh, other other projects, and more more gigs, basically. Yeah. So I guess really in the short, short term, we're only looking at two huge computers. Although, uh, like I'll need uh, a computer for home again, because uh, I've, I've been squatting on the, the studio PC, but once that's out of the house, I'll have, to, I'll have to set something else up there. Sure. And if you're just doing like, you know, not super complex stuff, you can build a PC for not so Not a ton of money. The, uh, uh, the, the builders are going to start tearing out all this stuff to redo all the wiring. Mm -hmm. um, basically, they just, you know, for safety's sake, they need to know that every single uh, thing is, is 100%. But I, I told them about our setting up the mega station over in this area and kind of what, what we want everything to be. And we have all the stuff for the, uh, the soundproofing. I, you know what? Do you, want, do you want to take a peek at the soundproofing stuff? Sure. We're going to... On the Mod Rogue episode, I guess we're going to have to um, act like we're seeing it for the first time, but I'm really curious what this, uh, what this looks like. Uh, also, at some point, we got to do like, we got to do a bug cleanup. 
kind of day. Oh, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, yeah, we've already started with monthly service with uh, pest control. And like we were talking about, like it's going to be a slowly expanding, get rid of all the nasty stuff. Oh, there we go. This is, you, you were just a fan of the gray, right? Yeah. 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 Any kind of neutral color works. I think even non-neutral colors could work, depending, but it's probably just the safest bet. Yeah, I think, I think this will Yeah, that'll look good on the white, right? Yeah. I don't know what this is. I'm going to put it back. That's probably a good call. So if I was going to guess, I think we might be moving the podcast operations over within four weeks of now. Wow. Uh, the, the running gag was on Night Attack. We were asking whether or not it would be before Christmas. And both Bryce and I confidently said, oh, yeah, no, definitely by Christmas. <laughs> and then now here we are five weeks from Christmas and it's feeling a, less, a little less obvious. Yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited about this being a living space where, where you know, you show up and expect to see other people working and, uh, and be able to, you know, knock out stuff faster. So it's not such a huge event for us to shoot all the time. Yeah, it, it would be nice. And then also just little things like, you know, if I'm around editing and stuff and Jason's around prepping episodes, then I can like hold him accountable for making sure that everything's like well, that's all together. Is, is, is having having a big whiteboard with everybody's action items and everybody's responsibility. Uh, also, it happened again. I, that motherfucking haunted bus, the door opened again. Mm. I closed it, and every time it locks, and every time it closes, I think, oh shoot, I should have closed it, I don't know how to open it. And then at some point, it just is open again. And, and this is not, I know this sounds like a bit, I know we did the ghost hunting episode and all this stuff, but this is the third or fourth time this has happened. And I genuinely don't understand it. Also, I think we might own that bus now. Mm. The spookiest detail of them all. <laughs> it's, it's us owning the, bu the bus. Yeah. <laughs> the battle bus. Yeah, the, I think the bug situation will also get a lot better once we start manicuring, you know, getting rid of all the this lawn, you know, taming and all. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited though. Hmm. Uh, what else is going on? Black Friday coming up around the corner. Most important oh, yeah. time of the year to the health of this business. Sure. So if uh, if anyone's thinking of gifts, now's a good time. Uh, the Houdini cell. The first group of people got theirs, and uh, overall, uh, overall the uh, response has been overwhelmingly positive. Like people are like easily the best uh, puzzle box we've done, which I was really worried about uh, because we were using. Uh, one of Theory 11's decks, but uh, luckily they happened to come out with a brand new deck. So, it, and plus, it stylistically fit exactly with the Houdini idea that we're doing. So, I know David is running as fast as he can, trying to trying to get that out. I think I think it's it. I think it's all the important stuff. All right. Good meeting, yeah. team. I recorded all this in 120 frames per second because oh. I forgot to switch it over. Well, no, so it's important to so just arbitrarily slow down and get the, get uh, the yeah. link. Mm. Good stuff. <laughs>